Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best camera for astrophotography on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best camera for astrophotography. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mention in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. The greatest astrophotography cameras will provide you the ability to appreciate and explore the cosmos above in ways that your telescope simply can't compete with when you're sick of just staring at the stars. You can capture the universe for artistic expression or scientific record-keeping rather of merely staring at the stars. You can't take high-quality photos of space with any old equipment because the best astrophotography cameras are meticulously honed imaging systems with incredibly specialized characteristics. Thanks to specialized sensors designed to withstand solar radiation and unique GPS capabilities that track the path of the stars, the greatest astrophotography cameras unveil the secrets to taking magnificent images with the type of clarity and detail that others are simply not able to do. Number 5. Sony A7 III Camera for Astrophotography The Sony A7 III is a darn fine mirrorless camera that is excellent for shooting the stars, unlike the Nikon D850, it is not a dedicated astrophotography camera. The A7 III has a rear-side illuminated full-frame sensor, with a lesser 24.2 MP resolution, just like the D850 and an extremely high ISO range that reaches an incredible 51,200 natively and is extendable all the way to 204,800. Using two memory card slots plus the option to use USB power while shooting, such as a power bank, will allow you to take long exposures all night without any issues. To make the most of the camera, you'll need to be able to overlook a few Sony-specific oddities, though. When taking still photos, the main issue is the notorious star eater phenomenon, in which strong noise reduction can cause stars to vanish during lengthy exposures. Although it's not as terrible as older Sony bodies, the issue does occasionally resurface. The other problems are with the rear screen, which merely tilts, has a very poor resolution, less than a million pixels, and has extremely limited touch functionality. Reasons to buy. Full frame, backside illuminated sensor, dual memory card slots, can be USB powered while shooting. Number 4. Olympus OMD EM1 Camera for Astrophotography. In order to make the bodies and lenses much smaller, lighter, and less expensive, micro four-thirds sensors are around half the size of full-frame sensors. As a result, your gear is portable enough to take any place. The sensor has less surface area to absorb light, though, due to its relatively smaller size. However, as the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III demonstrates, there are other factors to take into account when it comes to astrophotography besides just sensor size. A special starry sky AF algorithm on the EM1 III allows for precise autofocus on even the tiny stars. When using a tripod, the accuracy priority mode will help you achieve sharp focus, but the speed priority mode, which makes advantage of the effective image stabilization, capable of up to 7.5 stops of adjustment, allows you to take wide-angle astrophotos while holding the camera in your hand. Capturing light trails is made incredibly simple by the lifetime and upgraded live composite modes, which lets you to keep the shutter open for 6 hours and only adjust exposure as lighting changes to keep your shots clear and uniformly lighted. Even while taking pictures, you may charge the camera using a USB device like a power bank. The EM1 Mark III delivers strong tools that make it a formidable choice despite the smaller sensor if size, weight, and cost are factors. Number 3. Nikon D850 Camera for Astrophotography The Nikon D850 lacks any astronomy-specific functions, in contrast to other cameras on this list. 
Instead, it is just a terrific DSLR with features that are ideal for taking pictures of the night sky. Its 45.7MP picture sensor is rear-side illuminated, which implies that it has higher light-gathering ability, less noise, and overall better image quality, the circuitry is on the underside, not the front. This contributes to enviable low-light performance together with a reasonable, if not extraordinary, ISO range. The D850 also features dual-native ISO, although only at the less advantageous ISO 64 and ISO 400 sensitivities, similar to the Sony A7S III. The large DSLR is a delight to hold, with weather sealing and an optical viewfinder curtain system to block stray light during long exposure photography. Additionally, it has two card slots, one each for XQD slash Express and SD. We'd love to have all the buttons light up, but being able to see crucial controls in the dark is a really welcome addition. Another significant plus is the inclusion of illuminated buttons, but just on the left-hand side of the camera. Reasons TO by Huge 45.7 MP full-frame resolution Brilliant battery life Some illuminated buttons Number 2. Pentax K1 Mark II Camera for Astrophotography While DSLRs are still some of the greatest astrophotography cameras, mirrorless bodies are fantastic for capturing the stars. With its 36.4 MP full-frame sensor, weather sealing, in-body image stabilization IBIS, and intelligently created variable angle back screen, the Pentax K1 Mark II is the best of the group. And when you consider everything else it has to offer, the K1 Mark II might be the best all-around astro camera, even though it can't compete with the EOS RA or a 7S III for specialized features. Pentax's Astro Tracer technology is key to this. Astro Tracer uses the stabilization in conjunction with the built-in GPS to correct for the movement of the stars rather than utilizing the stabilization, which makes minute adjustments to the image sensor to correct for camera shake. When the camera is mounted to a tripod, it moves the sensor using GPS data to prevent undesired star trails so you may take long exposure photos without obtaining star trails. With external illumination that illuminates the underside of the rear screen as well as the camera mount, for changing lenses in the pitch black of night, night vision mode that turns the LCD screen red to optimize it, and your eyes, for shooting in the dark, and other features, this camera is made specifically for amazing astrophotography. Number 1. Sony Alpha 7S III Camera for Astrophotography. Thanks to its absurd native ISO range of 80 to 100 and 2400, which can be expanded to 400 and 9600, but you'll never ever shoot that high, and dual native ISO, the Sony A7S III provides performance that is nearly equivalent to night vision. The A7S III has two native ISOs, one at ISO 640 and one at ISO 16000, though this varies in video modes, whereas the majority of cameras only have one native ISO, the level at which performance is clearest. It should not be surprising that this camera is the best for astrovideography since it has a body that is primarily intended for video. The A7S III only has a 12.1 MP sensor, which is a compromise. Since there are fewer pixels, each one is larger and able to gather more light, which improves the camera's low-light performance, but there is less detail if you wish to print your photos. Although this is the best camera for filming stars, there is one catch, when shooting video with sharp wide-angle lenses, the star-eater phenomenon that afflicted earlier Sony cameras can occasionally be seen. In this phenomenon, overactive noise reduction would mistake stars for noise. Furthermore, the Sony only has a meager 4x magnification compared to the EOS RAW's enormous 30x magnification, which can make focusing difficult, particularly for those with weak vision.